We're going back to the old roots with this recipe, making a one pot creamy garlic mushroom chicken. This recipe is really easy to put together. It tastes fantastic. All of the ingredients are relatively cheap and you can serve it with all sorts of your different favorites. Let's get straight into it. All right, starting out, we're going to need two small shallots or shallots. You can also use one brown or yellow onion if you can't get hold of these. And we're gonna peel them, slice them in half and then remove the tip, leaving the root intact. And then just dice these the same way you would with a regular onion, making sure they're nice and fine and cut right down to that root so it reduces the waste. And you can also save that root for a stock. Next is 300 grams of Swiss brown mushrooms. They're also known as baby portobellos or even cremini mushrooms. We're just gonna thinly slice these. And there's two different ways you can do this if you're not comfortable doing it this way where they could possibly wobble around. You can also snap the stem off so it can sit flat on the bench and then just do the exact same thing, slicing it nice and thin, as well as doing the same with the stem. Being a creamy garlic sauce, we're going to need six cloves of freshly peeled garlic. Run these along a microplane to create a paste. Make sure you scrape it all out of there and you can also chop these up, but pastes release a lot more allicin, which is the flavor compound, and it's the best way to have the garlic prepared for this recipe. As for some optional ingredients for infusion, we're going to need three grams of flat leaf parsley and one gram of fresh tarragon. Both of these can be scrunched together to create a tight bunch and then we can roughly chop into nice fine pieces. Just make sure there's no leaves or stems. And this is going to add a beautiful infusion into the sauce. And if you don't have fresh herbs, you can use dried alternatives, which I'll leave details about in the description. Now with the chicken, I'm using eight large boneless and skinless chicken thighs. You can also use chicken breast as well. We're going to add this to a large mixing bowl and follow that up with two teaspoons of olive oil, two and a half grams of both onion and garlic powder, one gram of both dried thyme and dried oregano, sea salt flakes to your liking, and then cracked black pepper, 30 cracks worth. Give this a really good mix around with a spoon or use your hands, whatever you're into, just until everything is completely combined and then this can be popped aside for the time being. Okay, so now prep is out of the way, let's get cooking. Place a large pan or pot over a medium high heat. Add in one and a half tablespoons or 30 milliliters of olive oil, and then get that nice and hot, and then we can add in our seasoned chicken. Just give it a spread around so it can pick up that oil and spread the oil around the pan, and then do this in batches. I recommend doing three or four at a time, and then we're gonna sear this for about six minutes on each side. We're gonna cook this pretty much the whole way right now and getting that nice crust on there. And once that is nice and cooked and nice and browned all over, just remove it, place it into a bowl, and then we're going to allow this to rest for the time being, and then you can repeat that with the other batch. With the chicken out the way and into the same pan, add 20 grams of unsalted butter, allowing it to start melting, then follow that up with the shallots, and we're going to mix this around and only cook this for one minute to pick up some of that stuck chicken flavor. We don't wanna get any color on this right now because we are gonna then follow it up with the mushrooms, and this is where all of the good stuff's going to happen. Make sure you do scrape all of them in there to not waste any. And then we're going to cook this for about five to six minutes. And mushrooms retain so much moisture that this is going to release that moisture into the pan and then pretty much deglaze the pan without adding any liquid. If you do happen to find that they do get a little bit too dark on the bottom of the pan, you can add in a splash of water or stock to pick up anything else and just reduce the chances of anything burning. Should also mention that adding in some salt at this time as well will also extract more of that moisture and obviously season as well. So definitely do add some salt in and then we're just gonna continue cooking this until that moisture has pretty much reduced and those mushrooms are nice and browned with a nice little nutty smell on them. Obviously don't cook them too far though because we do wanna have a little bit of a bite on it. After about six minutes and the mushrooms are nice and golden, add in that minced garlic and we can break it up with the back of a spatula just to prevent it from clumping. And we're only going to cook this for about 45 seconds to get that infusion in there. And we do wanna mix this pretty much the whole time just to prevent it from burning. Now we have two options here. You can use white wine or you can use chicken stock. This is 100 milliliters of whichever one you choose to use. The white wine will add a nice little acidity to this, but the chicken stock also adds really great depth. Doesn't matter what you choose, they're both gonna pretty much end in the same result. And what we're going to do with this is just bring it to a light simmer and cook it for about two minutes, just until it's reduced by about three quarters. We don't want much liquid left in this because we are going to be adding more, which is the 300 milliliters of thickened cream, which back in the day was pretty much one of my favorite ingredients. As well as the cream, hit it up with some cracked black pepper. The amount is completely up to you. And then we're going to mix this really well for those flavors to become friends. And you'll notice the color change in this is absolutely fantastic. The smell is amazing too. And we're going to allow this to come to a simmer. Now, once it is at a simmer or a very, very light boil, just give it another mix through for those flavors to keep developing. And then we're going to reduce the heat to medium low and allow this to very lightly simmer away for about six minutes to reduce down. This will become really nice and thick and that color will change absolutely beautifully. And then once that is done and you can mix it through and very lightly see the bottom of the pan, that is the exact consistency that we want. 
Adding cheese to this now is completely optional. I'm adding in 50 grams of Parmesan cheese, just great enough into your liking. This will also help thicken the sauce and give it a beautiful, nice nutty flavor as well as the mushrooms. These two partner really well together. And then we can also add in those tarragon and the parsley if you chose to use this or the dried alternatives. And with that in, give it a really good mix through and cook this only for about 30 seconds to get that beautiful infusion into the sauce. Now that that is all done, we can introduce the chicken back in, add all of that in obviously, making sure that it sits completely flat in the sauce. And don't forget to add in all of those resting juices. The flavor depth in this is absolutely incredible. And then just gently mix all of this together. Just be careful you don't break up the chicken because it can be quite soft. And all we have to do here is just cook this for about one minute to get the heat back through the chicken and to coat that chicken in that delicious sauce. Then we can remove it from the stovetop. This dish can be served with all sorts of different things, all of your favorites like mash, different types of vegetables, even rice if you wanted to, or pasta. But whatever you do, just stack up about three to four pieces of chicken per portion, depending on how much you like, obviously. Top it with that delicious mushroom sauce and then grate over some extra Parmesan cheese. Top it with some flat leaf parsley as well as some cracked black pepper. And what we're left with is this absolutely delicious one pot creamy garlic mushroom chicken. Looks absolutely incredible and smells amazing too. With all of that done, there is only one thing left to do, and that is, of course, we can then dig in. I need to start doing more recipes like this again on the channel because this is where the channel first started, and recipes like this are absolutely delicious. The mushrooms are soft, still have a slight little bite, have a nice nutty flavor on them. That chicken is absolutely perfect. It's a little bit moist, juicy, and just blends perfectly with that mushrooms and that cream sauce. If you enjoyed this video, please do hit that like button. It really does help me out and consider subscribing and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.